Hi, my name is Florian Kohler, also known as Venom. Here with me is Jamie Lett. Uh, as you can remember, last month we covered all the basics of pool, the stance, the bridge. Today we're going to push it a little further and I'm going to show you guys how to aim. So there, you know, there's a many, many system and some of them really complex, but I'm gonna go over one right now that to me, in my opinion, is the best one and probably the easiest one to put right away. It's what I call the ghost ball method. So really what happened is, let's take this ball here. So we're gonna take the five ball here, just put it in the middle. So when you got a straight shot, it's pretty easy. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna think about the cue ball and I'm gonna grab another ball here, let's grab the one ball here and imagine your cue ball replacing the one ball right here. So I'm saying that is because if you hit, you know, if you put a line from the middle of the pocket from the five to the one to the cue ball, you're basically in straight line. So if you hit that straight line and imagine your cue ball in place of the one, you're gonna make the five ball. I can't miss that, there's no way, this is easy. So straight shot's not usually a big problem for people, especially when they're close distance like that. This, however, is a lot more difficult. Now, you know, people always look at it, they, they try to find a line or whatever, but really it's the same easy thing. So to make this one ball here, I'm gonna imagine the two ball right here, straight line from the one to the two into the center of the pocket, just like that, right? So technically, if my cue ball replaced the two ball, I'm gonna make the one ball. All right, so I'm gonna remove the, cue, the two ball, put it here, just shoot the one ball. Boom, same thing. So it's still good, so we're gonna keep going. The system works pretty much from everywhere. As long as you're, you know, it's the dead amount of degrees really, you'll be okay. So let's try a really hard cut this time. So we're gonna do the same thing. Let's put my white ball here. Now this is getting like a, a very difficult shot, right? But again, if you look at the line, you know, to make this eight ball in the pocket, we're gonna put the two ball here, straight line, right here, just like that. And then you go over, look at your cue ball. Imagine your cue ball replacing the two ball, all right? Now, so you imagine that, you're gonna remove the two ball, put it there, and I'm gonna shoot it. It's the same thing, you can't really miss. So of course it takes some getting used to it, but really the method is very simple. And basically the system works everywhere. So let's say I got this ball here, you know, cue ball here. This is not an easy shot. So I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna same system, find my line to make the two. Here we go, here's the three ball, and I'm gonna go back to my cue ball, replace the cue ball with the three ball, remove it. Yeah, and yeah, basically you really can't miss using the system. Now any of the big mistake from people is because they think as a ball as a, as a square or a flat part. Basically the reason you have to replace it, so if you look at the point of contact, it's not the same because it's a circle. So depending on your angle, you know, it's gonna be a little bit different and that's why you have to use this ghost ball to actually visualize a better point of contact. It's like I say, you know, it's not the perfect method, there's a lot of different ways, but that is definitely the easiest one. You know, the difference between professional and amateur is the professional just simply control the cue ball better. So there's a few, you know, different spins you can take on the ball. We're gonna start uh, right here, so again, you know, just the ball straight in, cue ball a little bit away. There is uh, what we call a stop shot. So stop shot, so you're gonna go one tip below center. So you know, you take the center of your ball just a little bit below. So go right here. As you can see, the white ball just stayed in place. It's what we call a stop shot. It's a very important shot in pool. Also very easy, can't really mess up too bad. The next big thing is what we call a follow shot. You're gonna go a little bit above the center, push through it, okay? And it, the white ball is just gonna follow. Just like that. Now obviously it's better if you try to stay in line. Now that was a little follow. Now let's cover draw. So draw is basically the reverse of the follow. It's just gonna draw back, come back to you. So instead of going up, you're gonna go a little bit under the center. So again, in a tip or two, just under there. And the wobble comes back to you. Now, it'll be easy if it was only those, but unfortunately there's a few more. So next to come is a left spin and right spin. So left spin is exactly the same thing, but you're gonna go towards nine o'clock on, on your cue ball, somewhere like here. If you look at it, 
that's gonna cause the white ball to spin. Now, the same thing is possible on the other side. So we're gonna go right spin. So three, just like that. As you can see, the ball is spinning. At this moment for you, you know, you might not realize what it does, but the big thing is you can combine all these spins. So let's say I got a very, you know, typical situation here, or I'm gonna do it here. Okay, I got this angle, and I wanna go play position for the eight ball. There's several ways to get there, but you need to combine spins. So in that case, you know, if I play it only, uh, only top, I'll show you what it does. So it's not bad, you know, but it, it's not great. I'm a little far. I would like an easier shot on the eight ball, so I'm gonna do another one. To help you, it would be to put top and a little bit of right English. So I'm gonna do the same thing, top right. Look at what the white ball does. It's gonna open the angles, it's gonna come a lot closer, and I have perfect shape for the next ball. So what happened on this is, let's say you're gonna hit straight. If you hit straight into the diamond here, center ball, the white ball comes back straight to you, right? Now if you aim with a lot of less spin, straight into the diamond, the ball is gonna go to the left. If you do the same thing, the right spin, it's gonna go to the right. So as you can imagine, there's many combinations that are possible. So it goes from follow top, I mean top right, top left, and the same thing works for, you know, below center, you can do the exact same thing, bottom left, and it will help me go around the table in that case. You can see the ball has a lot of momentum, you know, drive around the table, and you know, if you had the ball here, it would be perfect position. So, if you put follow, or draw, your line is gonna stay the same, so your ghost ball system is gonna work. It's not gonna be a problem, it's gonna work perfectly. Now if you start to put spin on the ball, that is not gonna work the same, for one simple reason. When I put spin on the ball, let's say I'm gonna put a left spin on that ball, so that bone is mechanically gonna spin this way, right? So it's gonna spin this way, and then it's gonna provoke the opposite spin on this ball, which is gonna spin this way slightly. You might not see with your eyes, but it does that to the ball. So that means that, you know, if you got a straight shot, let's say here, I'm gonna place a lot of left spin. Look at what it does to the 14 ball. See, I missed it. And you think I just missed it because I didn't aim right, but I, I aimed the exact right point. So when you place a lot of spin, you have to compensate. So in that case, I would have to aim a little more here, simply because the spin is gonna drive me on the other side of the pocket. At this moment, you know, if you just start to learn pool and if you're, you know, beginner and you try to, you know, get used to the table and get used to play position, try to limit as much as possible the side spin because it's going to be very difficult for you to aim. But if you play with follow, draw and that little bit of spin, it should not affect your game too much. Okay, so if you really want to push into more details for the ghost ball system, uh, Pool Dog has this great tool, it's called the Ghost Ball M Trainer comes with a few sheets in there and it's gonna help you visualize what I was really telling you basically. So let's say you put that ball here, just like that, right? So I'm gonna put my white ball and there's literally a circle that's drawn here and I can see the entire thing that I was explaining to you. Now you can turn this thing here, right? But obviously you gotta line up with the pocket. So let's say we do it here. I line it up with the pocket. My white ball is here, should make it same way. It works, it works like a charm. It's uh, pretty cheap too, so I very recommend that if you can't visualize the ghost ball method by yourself. Now, as far as the cue ball control goes, it's, uh, it's a little more complex. So the first drill I would say to people is simply this one. So we start again from what we said, and uh, you're just gonna have to first to try to follow the cue ball into the nine, into the pocket. So both ball in the same pocket. All right, just like that. Then you can do the same thing as a draw shot. So line them up, pocket both balls. Now you're pretty good here. And now you can start to add the spin to the equation. So what I do is I'm gonna go here and I'm just gonna go, you know, in this zone here first. So just to follow here, stay in my zone. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing here. We try to go in that zone, so I'm gonna have to use a little bit of spin. Right, so I'm a little short, but I'm still in my zone. Then I'm gonna try to go here. 
the same position again. So now I'm gonna start to put a little more spin again. There you go. See, I'm right there, I'm pretty good. And you can, you can kind of invent your own drills too. It really is about for you to control how much spin you're gonna put on the ball and how much maximum and little and medium. And you know, everybody's different. Just practice and you'll get it. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's a very important part of pool, so please practice that. Don't forget to check out pooldot.com for your pool supplies. And make sure to stay tuned for our next episode where we will cover kicks and bangs.